President Biden has been campaigning uh, this weekend in South, in South yes, Carolina, yes. uh, shoring up uh, support among black voters. Recent polls show black support for the president is softening. Why? Well, first of all, I think that, you know, Trump and the Republicans have been doing everything that they can to get the people of this country to believe that, to get others to believe that he's losing the black vote. I don't buy it yet. Mm. I don't know which polls are the ones that are leading this argument, but I think we have some work to do to make sure that blacks are being told that you they're attempting to use us. They're attempting to divide us. They're attempting to use you to say that you're going to be responsible for helping to get Trump get elected. All right, let's deal with this. We're going to have to be very, very front frontal with this in talking with other blacks. We're talking with black men that they're claiming, uh, you know, are not happy with Biden. What else can Biden do? First of all, I love him simply because he nominated a black woman to sit on the Supreme Court of America. It had never been done by anybody before. And so he said he was going to do it. He did it. He said that he was going to not only respond to the pandemic in ways that would get us tested and get us uh, what we need that was missing in the black communities. He's done that. He said that he was going to deal with the climate. He's done that. He said he was going to deal with equality and equal justice. And as I look at the infrastructure bill, and I look at the uh, Inflation Reduction Act, I see where there are opportunities for contracts and jobs, jobs that are being created, because Biden has done everything that he said he would do. Oh, it is Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Amen.